Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I've lost the intro to this video somehow, so this is going to be it. <laughs> I hope you enjoy this look I created with new products from Priceline. I'll leave that haul down below if you haven't seen it already, and let's jump right into the video. As always, I'm going to prime my eyelids with the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. Lately, I've been using a brush to apply my paint pot just because I feel like it gives an even coverage and it just makes the paint pot go on a lot smoother. I've already got my foundation on just because I'm doing a first impression review on this foundation and it is the L'Oreal Nude Magique E Detente and I'm in the shade Nude Beige. So that video will either already be up or it'll be up soon. So just check the description bar and I'll let you know whether it's up or not. So for today's look I'm going to be using my Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette and I'm going to be first going in with this white creamy colour. This is called White Chocolate. I feel like I don't have to say what it's called anymore just because I use it all the time. Then, of course, I'm going to go in with the colour Salted Caramel, which is just a really pretty burnt orange transitional colour. It's really pretty. I love it. It's going to apply this just above my crease. Now, this look isn't going to be too fancy or anything like that. It's just going to be really simple. It's just so I can test out some new products. Then I'm going to go in with this pretty deep plum colour and I believe this is called Cherry Cordial or Cherry. I'm not really sure but I'll leave that down below. I'm picking this up on a more tapered blending brush. This is the Tapered Blending, the E40 by Sigma. I'm going to apply that in the outer part of my crease. Bring that down to the outer corner. With this colour, you want to work in sections and just build that colour up. You don't want to apply it too pigmented or else you're going to just have a big splotch of colour on your eyelid and have nowhere for it to go. Then I'm going to be going into this shimmery colour right here. This is called Marzipan and this is going to be my lid colour. So I'm just going to apply this from the inner corner to halfway down my lid. So the inner corner and the centre of my lid. Then I'm going to go in with a small short shader brush and pick up that same cherry cordial colour and just deepen up that outer corner. Then I'm going to take that blending brush that I used to apply that colour and just blend out the outer corner and blend that into the crease. Then I'm going to take the same brush that I used for salted caramel and a little bit more of salted caramel and just blend above that colour. Then taking a clean blending brush, I'm going to blend around the edges of my eye just to give it a more rounded appearance but also make sure that I didn't go too crazy with the colour and I don't have colour like halfway down my eye. Then taking the Jessup Large Fluff Brush, this is just a really big flat shader brush, I'm going to pick up white chocolate again and just apply that to my brow bone. This is really just going to clean up the look and make it look a lot more polished. Then I'm going to do a small winged liner with my Maybelline Master Precise, so I will do that off camera and I'll be back. So when I went to Priceline, I picked up a couple of highlighters. I also picked up the Australis Highlights Mineral Face Highlighters and I got the shade Pearl and the shade Gold. I don't know which one I want to use, but I'm going to try Pearl. I swatched this in the store and it was really, really pretty. So I'm just going to put a little bit on the back of my hand. It's not coming out. <laughs> okay. I think I got a dud. Alright. I'm going to go in with the one gold then. So that's it there. It's just a really, really metallic and pretty. So I've just taken a little bit on my finger and I'm just going to apply this to the tops of my cheekbones. And just blend that in with my finger. And I'm just going to put that on the other areas that I want to be highlighted. I can't tell you how bad my fingers look, they're so green. So I also picked up the L'Oreal Miss Manga Mega Volume Mascara and I'm just going to curl my eyelashes and apply this. I've never used this before but I've heard really good things about it and if it does really good I won't put on false lashes but I probably will anyway regardless. So I just applied the L'Oreal Miss Manga Mascara and I decided I wanted to use lashes anyway. So I went in with the Socialize Glamorous Shorty Lashes and obviously you can't see them now but they're on my eyes and I did use them in one of my previous tutorials. It was my dewy skin glowy makeup tutorial so you can see them if you want. Something else I got at the price line sale was the Australis Fresh and Flawless Pressed Powder. I got mine in the shade Darkest Brown. I have the lightest shade. So I'm just going to pick that up on my Real Techniques buffing brush just because it gives me a little bit of extra coverage. I'm just going to set in the areas that I didn't highlight. 
because if I set the areas that I did highlight, it kind of defeats the purpose of highlighting. <laughs> then I'm going to take my MAC Studio Fix powder and I'm going to set the highlighted areas of my face. So I got the Essence Sun Club Bronzer Brunette's Darker Skin Matte Bronzing Powder and this is in the colour O2 Sunny and this is huge, like <laughs> it's humongous. I think that I really, really have to build this bronzer up. I've gone over the same section three times just to build this product up. This would be a really good bronzer for beginners and also people who like to have control of their bronzers. I do really like it though, it blends really easily. After my MAC student night, I did use my gift card at another MAC store and I got the MAC Pro Longwear Waterproof Brow Set. But at the Priceline haul, I also got the L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper. And for the sake of this video, because I'm using a lot more of products I got at Priceline, I'm going to be using this one. I got light medium, I think it might be a little bit too light for me. I don't know how well that's going to keep my brows in place, but that will be able to see throughout the day. Another thing from Essence, I got the Essence Silky Touch Blush. This is in the shade number 10 Adorable. This is just a really pretty peachy light pink colour. The only Essence blush I've ever used is that Ombre blush that I used in my Essence One brand tutorial. And I really, really like that blush. It was really pigmented. Going back into my Too Faced palette, I'm going to go back in with Salted Caramel and just apply that to my lower lash line. I'm just using a really dense blending brush by Jessup. It's the Small Tapered Blending. I'm going to apply mascara to my lower lashes. This is the Clinique Bottom Lash Mascara. I always use this mascara for my lower lashes. I also picked up some Essence All About Matte Oil Control Powder. Oil control paper, sorry. This has 50 sheets in it. It mattifies within seconds. So you just open it, it has like a little sheet here and I guess you just pull it. Yeah, I'm just going to be using one of these just for the sake of using it. <laughs> okay, that's the piece of paper there. Not sure if you can see it, but it got up a lot of oil on my face. I think I want to have like a burgundy kind of red maroon lip just because I've got a little bit of burgundy on the eyes. I don't know, it's getting colder here so it means bring out the darker lip colours. This one is the colour 310 Berry Match and that's the colour there. So I'm going to use this one. That is so pigmented. These smell really nice. They smell really like fruity, like lollies. So I've just applied that Maybelline Drama Matte Velvet Lip Pencil and I will say that it was a little bit difficult to line my lips once I'd rounded off the top of the pencil just because it got a little bit thicker but once I got past that stage it was really easy to fill it in, it was really creamy and I just had to go around the edges with concealer just because it was a darker lip and I know it's not perfect but I'm struggling with dark lips just because I don't wear them that often. Now I'm going to set that cream highlight that I put on before. I don't know if you can see it like on the top of my cheekbone. No? <laughs> well, I'm going to set it with the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle. This isn't a new product for me, but I really like it and I haven't used it in a while. I'm also going to take a little bit of this on a small flat shader brush. And I'm going to apply this to my brow bone. And then to my inner corner. So that completes this makeup look for today. I hope you enjoyed this kind of burgundy kind of look. I don't know how to describe it. I had a lot of fun creating it and the lip colour is really, really pretty. I just have to get used to wearing something this bold. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and comment down below what you thought or some requests for me to do later. I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Today's video is this makeup look right on my face. It's a BH Cosmetics one brand tutorial. A tip to make your mascara not smudge where your concealer is, just grab a little Q-tip and just run that underneath your lashes just so that you pick up the excess product.